remember the Victoria's Secret fashion shows? Did you ever watch them? <laughs> when I was in high school, I used to look forward to watching the Victoria's Secret fashion shows. I was always so excited to see all of the different lingerie looks paired with the iconic wings. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to turn myself into my version of a Victoria's Secret Angel. <laughs> so first I'll be doing a Victoria's Secret Angel inspired makeup look. And then I also purchased two teddies. So I thought it would be fitting to show you how I like to style lingerie. So if you're interested in seeing how everything comes together, then just keep watching. Hi, I'm Mika. If you are new here, welcome. I create beauty, fashion, and a little bit <laughs> of lifestyle content. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so that you are alerted when I post new videos. Let's jump into this Victoria's Secret Angel Inspired Makeup. This is going to be a dewy natural makeup look, so it is going to be super important that you prioritize skincare. So here are some of the products I've been using lately. I'm always trying out new skincare products, but these two have been consistent. So now I have a fresh face, I'm all moisturized. Now it's time to prep my eyebrows for perfection. I like to brush up and kind of shape my eyebrows for that kind of bushy eyebrow look. Um, then I fill in the sparse areas with my eyebrow pencil and then I like to kind of just blend that out with the brush on the other end of the pencil. Okay, next, this is imperative eyebrow gel. I hate looking in the mirror and see my eyebrow hairs out of place. It drives me crazy. <laughs> Moving on to foundation. I prefer powder foundation for a more natural look. I remember this one summer, it was really hot and I was tired of feeling like I was wearing a second layer of skin because I was wearing a full face of makeup and liquid foundation at that. So I switched over to powder and I only apply it to cover up any dark spots or to make my skin look more like one tone without covering up my whole face. Okay, I am obsessed with cream blush, specifically if it's coral. I've recently been loving the Chanel Lip and Cheek Balm. It just makes my skin glow. <laughs> I am such a blush and highlight girl. I've also been loving the Chanel highlighting fluid. It just gives me such a beautiful natural glow. I typically prefer a more dewy makeup look anyway, so I am absolutely obsessed with this stuff.
specifically for this makeup look, I'm going to add some of that highlighting fluid in the inner corners of my eyes for that bright kind of wide eye look, you know, that the models typically have. Next, I'm using this Makeup by Mario highlighting powder. I love looking golden with this gold sparkly powder. Plus, it's just fitting for an angel, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to lightly top my highlight off for that extra glow, you know, that extra sparkle. Next, this is my contour powder, but today it is the eyeshadow for my crease. <laughs> I like this specific shade of brown on my skin, so I use it anytime I need a dark brown powder that kind of naturally mimics the shadows on my face. I decided to skip the winged eyeliner look. I'm not really a huge fan of eyeliner. I decided to add the highlighting powder on my eyelids beneath my crease line for a sparkly eyeshadow look. I'm using this Estee Lauder Very Pigmented Red Lip Gloss. I've been literally using this lip gloss nonstop since the holidays. A pinkish lip is ideal for this look. Think angel. Think soft colors. I've also been loving this Lancome Juicy Tube lip gloss. Lastly, I applied a little bit of mascara and that completes this look. All right, let's move on to these outfits. Okay, so for this first look, I'm wearing this very sexy Wicked Dotted Mesh Teddy. Um, in the color coconut white. I also got this teddy in a size small. I really love this teddy. It's so cute. I don't know why, but this teddy gives like black and white tuxedo. I don't know. Don't ask me why I thought of that when I saw it, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I really love this Teddy, I just love the kind of classic feel that I get from it. It could be the polka dots mixed with the black lace, you know, on top of the white. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, and come to think of it, none of that gives tuxedo. But anyway, I really like the back of this teddy. I like that you can tie it up in the back. It has this like long, like ribbon detail and it's so pretty i will say it comes untied more than i would like it to um it could just be because it's new but i really love that detail on top of like whatever bottoms i'm wearing the reason why you see me kind of covering myself up is because i didn't expect these teddies to be so sheer like I knew they were gonna be sheer but not like all the way through sheer <laughs> um, <laughs> I decided to pair this teddy with shorts because it is hot outside it's summertime now um, so I thought I would show you kind of a summer outfit 
Um, if you are looking to incorporate lingerie into your wardrobe, you can always add something on top of this um, teddy, like a lightweight cardigan um, to walk around in if you aren't 100% comfortable with just wearing the teddy and the shorts by itself. So that's it for this outfit. Okay, so for this next look and the last look, <laughs> I am wearing this very sexy logo embroidery unlined underwire teddy um i got this teddy in the color black and it is also in a size small i fell in love with this teddy for two reasons the first reason i fell in love with this teddy is because of the material i only own one like bustier top that has this like satin material all the other ones i have are lace or like mesh or something like that which i actually love <laughs> but lately i've been kind of gravitating towards these more like satin or you know more simple looking um teddies or bodysuits i really love the high quality kind of you know luxurious feel that you get when you wear this material um and i don't know it just automatically feels dressed up it will also look really good paired with jeans or something like that um, for a more you know dressed down casual look the second reason i love this teddy so much is the mesh detailing i think it looks so cool the victoria's secret and cursive kind of laid against your skin or at least that's how it kind of appears and it is so beautiful to me so <laughs> i just had to have this they only had one more left on the website and i was not leaving the website without it so there you have it that's why i have it <laughs> i don't know why but immediately i pictured tan shorts with this teddy I think it's because I really wanted to like play up this like mesh, you know, this kind of nude look. I don't know. I like the way it came together. I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right, so that concludes this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love reading your comments and getting your feedback. Um, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Don't forget to check my description box below where I will leave all of the links. See you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>